Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Spec Rec, and I'm doing a tour of my VHS collection. I've been meaning to do a long time, I just didn't know if I could do it. Still don't know. Um, I'm using my iPhone, so. <sighs> yeah, so we're starting off with this beautiful thing. This one needs to be censored. But that's the part I really love. Okay, hold on now. And now I'm going to change the video that I'm watching on YouTube. So hold on a second. Watching Garfield and Friends and uh, boxing. So let's see what's on the other side of this thing. Uh, yeah. This is going to be awkward. Yeah. Okay. So it's been a minute and we have two. Here's a cover. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yep. I can relate to that guy. Please let me take a picture. Uh, hello. Um, oh, you're walking away, okay. Uh, okay, and we continue on the tour. Oh, yes, what do we have here? Even Hitler had a girlfriend. One of my faves. This is actually a really funny movie. And this guy reminds me of uh, John Ritter's son. Look at all these chicks. These chicks actually... I think they all appear in this movie. So this guy succeeded in making a movie about lose, be, being a loser. He succeeded. Yes, we got here. Darcy Wetsky. Yeah, I guess like as we go through, there's going to be other stuff because like it's just there. So. Pop, okay. um, oh yeah, this is a good one. This chick is does not disappoint. Like she's throughout the movie. I got this for my bud Scott. Hey, come. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know why these are here. But. Sylvania 6 5000 with this cover. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm not pausing. I'm just going to. There's no editing. So, bear with me. Oh, this is, my, this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite covers. Beautiful. I love this. Satan's Touch. Yeah, this is one of my absolute favorites. I can just show whatever's in my way. Oh. I don't know if I show this. Uh, some, some, uh, maybe. Uh, oh, this is a great movie. I love this movie. Chocolate ganache lava cakes. Yes, private selection. If you guys got that in your collection, that's a good one. I'm starting to keep uh, boxes. I, I hope volume is getting recorded. I'm trying. I'm starting to keep stuff like this as art that I'm planning on maybe putting on the walls. I don't know, this is a room tour, I guess. It's not really a room tour because we'd have to go more into depth. But I'm just doing a VHS cl collection tour and anything that's in in the way, on the path. So here's like an off record. It's an actual record. Uh. Let's see. This is kind of dumb, I guess, cheesy, but like doing this, but I might as well. Let's see. Alright, so then we're gonna go to like black or something as we go through the room. I don't wanna show my room. Alright. Okay. Are you still with me? I'm going. I don't really wanna show my room, but just like specific things. Yeah, what's that? This isn't VHS, what are you doing, Spec? 
Uh, Alright, let's see if there's anything of interest here. Uh, Aubrey Plaza on the wall. See, I'm starting to put like stuff like this on the wall. Uh, Spock. He got my, he got his name for me. Um, unicorns. Eighties. Weeds. Um, so yeah. I don't want to show my room, but just like, alright, we'll just go like this and the chick from that Pollock movie. Some zombies I thought really looked really real. Let's see if I can get that. Alright, back to black. Back to black. You're being censored. You're being censored. Uh, what's this? Oh, choose your own adventure. This is supposed to be a v VHS thing, but... Whatever. Look it up on that. Back to black. Back to black. You're still with me. Don't be afraid, little one. I'm still here. Okay, now let's start start the tour in earnest. The VHS tour in earnest. Now, keep in mind, I've had to sell a lot of my collection. Um, as we guess, Specs room is a mess. Ticks, take stuff, take stuff. Oh yeah, I can't believe I'm showing this stuff. All right. Might as well just show, oh, Space Ghost thing. Uh, award I made myself for my movie, Alice in Nephanalia. I hope the audio is being recorded. Alright, so let's go to the DHS. You're not gonna get, you're not gonna get, delve into my psyche that easily. Ooh, Space Mysterious. Oh wait, can I show it? Wait, wait, can I show this? Alright, alright. Hopefully this... Is okay. So here's one. Let's see. I don't know. Let's just go all out. What, what the heck? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Can I play if I can? Okay. If I can put the light better. Video Vixens. Bad movie, but it's called Video Vixens. Batman. And this is really good late night viewing of Batman and the Super 7. Bootleg, back in VHS bootleg days. Ooh, we're getting, it's gonna get saucy. It's getting, it's getting spicy. More 28 Dirty Debbie Dogs. Awesome. I just kept her because of her, and she's actually in it. Um, Love Butcher, I kept because of awful cover. Because of this chick, who her name is Robin Sherwood, and she's she st she steals the show. The whole movie is pretty much garbage, but her and the guy she acts with in this small scene, <clears throat> I think that's her. I think that's her. she played in a couple movies actually. She just steals the show, and her name is Robin Sherwood. It's one of my favorite names I've heard on, on in a movie. Uh. Okay, I guess we're gonna. I don't have that many DVDs, so I might as well party down. I have one and two with Lizzie Kaplan. This was actually a good show. Um, what is this spec? Embalming train film. This is. I think the reason I kept this was. I don't know. I'd have to watch it, but maybe there is a. Um, I think there is a video I've seen that um, has uh, the tall man doing like an advertisement. It's like it's like footage somebody shot on VHS of the tall man, uh, Angus Scrim, in a cemetery doing a commercial for like an auto commercial or something. And it may be on this film, um, but it's an awesome video. I don't remember where I saw it, but I think I kept this because I have no interest in embalming. Um, maybe on, on the back end of that. Yogi's Great Escape. Uh, yeah. uh, Mark Borchart and um, Mike Shank. Uh, a movie, a little, little known movie, but this is actually a good movie. Britney Baby all the time. It's about a um, Britney Spears impersonator, and uh, they didn't make the film, but they star in it. 
I don't think it's just cameos. It's like they're in the whole movie. Um, sad movie. Let's see. Ooh. I've got several different copies of this. This is an unusual um, copy. I just have this for the cover. I have the actual VHS. You can, this is from another land. Another, um, whatchamacallit. So you can't watch it. But the, the box, of course, is obviously... I like this art more than um, the one with the weird girl on the cover. That's a good, okay cover. But, uh, I don't know, the girl's like, the girl looks weird in that cover, in the Spookies cover. It's like, she's, her breasts are a little, I don't know, her, her body's not in proportion. This I just kept because of the cover. Um, obviously not a good movie. Uh, Smashing Pumpkins something. There's like old footage of Smashing Pumpkins. Uh, this is a bootleg I made of a tranny movie called uh, Parade of Roses, Japanese well-made film with a good twist. Uh, Monster Ninja 2, I just kept that because I remember watching like the premiere of it back when it came out on TV. Bogus Witch Project because it has, um, what's her name, from uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, the bad chick. They didn't even put her name on here. Let me see. I'm not used to doing videos, folks. Bear with me. It's been 11 minutes. What is her name? Green? Jenna Green? Jenna Lay Green, I think her name was. Bogus Witch Project. And it actually has funny parts in it. Alright, on we go. Let's, just, uh, let's see. I think I wanted more to do like a video of just like me getting rid of some videos, but... Uh, yeah, let's do it like that. Okay, Beetlejuice Volume 6. Beetlejuice Cartoon is good stuff. Mm. Right. Let's see anything. Let's see. Boarding house. I, I tried to sell this, but as you can see, I tried to sell it at the VHS convention at a uh, Fangoria. No, um, Sound Monster Palooza at the VHS Wired I Fest, and I was selling it for a hundred dollars. It is worth it, but it's such a great movie. And they, I put it on, and it was this guy. I, I couldn't get rid of this movie. It's so it's so out there and weird and funny. Okay. Oh, I forgot to bring the videos for my car and I wanted to show. Should we skip the DVDs? Let's, let's skip the DVDs. What is this? Space, I'm not, not even showing you. Space Stars, bootleg, uh, Edward thing. About Edward. It show, I like the, the, how they show, um, how he, at, the, at the end of his career, when he was chubbed out, he was just wa like paying chicks to do nude uh, videos in his house. That's exactly what I would want to do. Bootleg, I was on delicate art of the rifle. This isn't my, I have, a, I have an earlier generation copy. This is one of the bootleg I was selling. It's one of my favorite movies, The Delicate Art of the Rifle. Ghost House, the only reason I kept this movie was because of the um the old gentleman who works at the funeral home and maybe the soundtrack's okay but the, the reason i kept this was because of the scene it's a short scene at the funeral home but i thought that was very good video dead classic by now everybody knows this the interesting thing about this is that for once I saw a um, video cover and the movie lived up, like the scene in the movie lived up to the video cover. You actually do see this happening. There maybe isn't lightning, but you, this actually happened in the movie and it looks kind of like that. There's like different variations of this. There's actually another cover which is even more accurate, but I was just, great fun movie. I mean, definitely one of maybe underrated, even though the underground knows about it. I don't know why I have this. What is this? I got all these like. Oh, this is when I used to film. Oops. 
I don't like her. Macabre, macabre theater with that chick with the big presumes. Let's put this over here. So I'll we'll get trouble. What else we got here? The tick. Uh, I want to see. I want to sell things. The only reason I'm keeping things is because. I, uh, do you like this view of the back of my heater? It's pretty cool, right? This and that's the DVDs. Ah, 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 fudge. Oh man, there's drama in this video. There is excitement. There, there's a TV that doesn't work. There's, move the heater. It's only 90 degrees. All right, well, we've moved the heater now. Look at this gothic stuff, dude. Look at this. Look at this umbrella I should sell. This like tattered umbrella. This is so fun. Okay, let's go down into the catacombs here. Wait, look at this stuff. Godfather and Friends. I, I like this. That's what I'm listening to in the background. What is this? Um, I, it's so bright. I'm so this is, says Karate Kid 3 changed our Silent Night Deadly Night 3. I don't know why I have this here, but this is this is a candidate for being sold, so we're gonna put it away. Because I don't know if I can it or not. What is this? Saturday, so I don't know what that is. Roller coasters, why do I even have this? This is, this is like some a &E thing. Um, yeah, definitely. Carrot for selling. What is this? Uh, these bootlegs. I see, I would choose the 80s commercials. Um, Charlie Brown Celebration. I don't know, maybe I should sell this. Great, I gotta add. Okay, it's a kid's. Uh, let's see. Um, Bloody Wednesday. I kept this because the movie's bad, but um, there's this one scene where this dude is just like in isolation, like after he's killed everybody or something, or it's like he's in an ultra dark room. And he's all alone, and I related to that guy. So it's a it's a well made scene. Um, roller coaster. Why do I ha why did I keep this? Why is it necessary to keep there? But it's got to be a, some fake thing in here. No, it is actually roller coaster thrills. Maybe there's maybe it's a good roller coaster video. I don't know. Need to be watched, but it's a candidate for being sold. Okay, eighteen minutes in. Uh, that sleeping corpses lie. Breakfast of Manchester. More probably some. Uh, yeah, some horror movie. Candidate for being sold. Um, Beetlejuice cartoons. Should I sell those? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I love them, but I don't know. Candidates. Candidates for being sold. Candidates. Another one too. They're all candidates. They're candidates. They're candidates. A candidate. You're a candidate. You're a candidate. Wait, and this one, Star Crystal. This has got good soundtrack, but I don't know if I should keep it. Star Crystal. Uh, it's got a good, like a good soundtrack, but the movie's no good. It's got like this really cheesy '80s, like. Where's that other, that other? Is it right here? Yeah, I don't know. That other, I had another Beetlejuice. It's hiding out. It doesn't want to get sold. It's just, it's trying to escape my ice, ice wrath, icy wrath. Fantastic, fantastic basketball bloopers. There must be probably some good play on here. Three. That's why I must be keeping it. But it's a candidate. Gotta, gotta check, check it out. There's the stuff dreams are made of. Um, Charlie Brown Valentine. Ew, love. I don't need this. Uh, Murder by Death. Yeah, I love this movie. So we're keeping this. Um, okay, I'll skip the DVDs. I don't have too many anyway. What is it? Look at, look at this. Look at this. Thing. Look at this thing. This, uh, this is not my writing. These are things I found. 
Daddy's Deadly Darling, Night Train to Terror, Satan's Blood, or Ryan's Blood. I don't like Night Train to Terror anymore. So, I don't know, I don't even know what the other ones are, but candidate for being sold. So what I mean by candidate means I will have to watch it again, God willing, and see if I want to keep it, if it is worthy of being in my collection. Uh, yeah, Mystery Science Theater is like 6,000 episodes, so this is a random one that I have. I think I know her from another thing. But, yeah, these chicks were hot. Um, I don't know. Why am I even showing you? It's not even, like, rare. You're looking for the rare stuff, right? It's, I know the whatever's in here is not. Yeah. What is this? What's going on, Spec? What's going on here, buddy? What's going on here? This is not... Star... Is this Star... Does this look like Starfleet Academy... Lost in space? No. Some porno. It's probably good. So, good stuff. Jesus, it's a mess here. Oh, here's, my, here's Cocaine Wars. I was, I was on the fence about selling this and I was just like, it's too good. It's too coke. Look at this. It like, looks like the guy from the Dukes of Hazzard. It's just too good. So, like, I'm going to keep it in then later on if I get tired of it. Oh, Nightmares, great scene with Emilio Estevez in the arcade, but I'm over it, with Black Flag playing, I think, so, candidate for being sold. Uh, probably none of this audio is getting recorded, so, can do Darcy Wetsky again. I don't know. Um, but, uh, this is a good video. Why am I showing the video games? This is kind of a rare, um, Night of the Living Dead. Clamshell. Yeah, just for this chick right here, I'm keeping it. Another found video. The Power Perfect Victim Scream Baby Scream Blood City. This uh, needs to be watched again. I don't know what any of these movies are. I think it's, I don't know. What is this? This is, this is my writing. Sabrina, I've got like a hundred Sabrina Teenage Witch videos I've gone over and over. Sabrina, yeah, Sabrina after season three is no good. So, not even, not even one good joke after season three. I don't know what happened. Space Sentinels. Good stuff. No DVD, no DVD, no, don't show DVD. I don't want to show no DVD, no DVD. You got me? Okay, this is my plastic bag I love. Mm -hmm. Fuck anybody who disagrees. Fuck. Plastic bag. I'm gonna kill you with a plastic bag. How am I supposed to kill you with a paper bag? How, huh? Explain that to me. Rock and roll, yeah. You, um, this is with David Bowie as a villain. And it's just like 70s coolness. Oh, aren't you? Ooh, look at this. Yeah, this is actually you can get it for cheap still. So. Undercrossed, the mark of the beast. It's a bit like my buddy. Oh, this is gourmet chef more met whatever. I got this because there's a hot like librarian lady. My buddy made a dub for me. Um, I'm not gonna go through showing like. Soundtracks. Oh, this is bootlegs I used to make to sell. <laughs> I should still make them because they still haven't come out with the DVD of this after like 15 years. Big Wolf on Campus. Look at this beautiful printing. Oh, this is with the hot chick. Muffy, the were This is like... Yeah, I've, I haven't got like these VHS. Which were themselves like really low quality bootlegs. Show that. Yeah, I think I bought this. Well, why, why am I showing it? I don't even... Because you know what? Because I'm looking at it. That's why I have to look at it to see what it is. It's a Linda Blair. Yeah. It's wicked here. 
is going on? Ooh, I need to. I haven't even watched this. Yeah. This is not VHS spec. Um, do you even have any VHS? What are you showing? Oh, okay. It's like a five minute movie, but it's ultra rare. It's basically, look at this cover though. The amount of work, the time that went into this making this cover compared to the time that went making this. There's like none of this is in the movie. The movie is literally five, 45 minutes. I do not remember that. It did not feel like 45 minutes. This is like this chick in the cafeteria and, and these guys, <laughs> these Hades jocks kept like throwing like a wadded piece of paper at them. Ooh, ugliest girl in school. Yeah, it's like nothing happens in this movie. I guess that's the chick right there. This. What year is this? Yeah, that's, there we go. That's some good, you guys get this video. See that? See that? Uh, I love this movie because the chick in it is one of the hottest chicks ever in video them. And he's, he's, a, he's a cool guy. That's his name. Pull it um, out of its drawer. So yeah, the chick in this is... And she's in the whole movie. She's not just like once. Darren McGavin. Yeah, he's a good guy. I like him. Uh, but... And it's not a, there's a hardcore scene in here. There's a hard, hardcore uh, scene, which I, I couldn't stand watching. I had, to, I had to turn it off the first time I saw it. Because the chick that's so cute, and she is gorgeous. She's like an Italian chick. Beautiful Italian chick in this movie. And she gets, <laughs> and there's this guy in this movie. He's, he's like, obviously, like, the gayest, like, Swedish dude. And he's just like, the girl is completely coming on to him the whole time. And basically like, opening her legs wide for him and he's just like, he's just so gay, he does not, he's not understand what's happening in the ocean. It's, it's pretty funny. Because the girl is so hot. And, and the guy is just like, in real life, I don't know, he's, and he's, he's supposed to be interested in the movie, but it just seems like he's not interested in the chick at all. Like he's like, why, why is this? He's like the most dorkiest dude in this movie. Okay, what is this? Ghoulies 2, I kept this just because of the scene. Uh, there's this cute chick. Yeah, I, I, a lot of times I keep movies just because there's a chick in it. Okay, leave me alone. That's why. Or the cover. Um, I only kept this because uh, there's a cute chick in, a, in bumper cars. In it. And I wish I could have bumper cars with a cute chick in a bumper car. Uh, now it's going to get crazy. It's going to get crazy, kids. Oh, yeah. She actually looks like that in the movie. Yeah, I think this is coming out on Criterion. Signed. What is that, Brett? The guy signed it, or is that the, ch the chick's name, Brett? No, that's Sheila Stone. Signed by Brett Dragon? Gorgon? Yeah. This is, this is coming out on the Criterion collection pretty soon, I think. I just got the newsletter, and they said they're going to be covering it. This is in the, one of the top tens of, this is, yeah. So, all right, let's see. What is this? These are a bunch of, why am I hiding this from? Okay, let's, what is this? Um, uh, I swear, I hope the, some bootleg of something. I think this is a kid's show. Yeah, are you afraid of the dark? Kind of bootlegs. Yeah, you don't get to see it because it's just this, all right? Relax. <clears throat> this was <clears throat> my voice is going. This is one of. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm still here. I'm still here. <laughs> Hold on to my hand. Come on. You can make it. All right. So this is. I would say the first VHS I bought in 1935. Um, this was the first VHS when I was starting to make a collection. I think I make a conscious decision to start collecting? I don't know. I think I did. This was the first one I bought. And, <clears throat> I don't know anything about the horror movies. And the reason I kept it was, again, because the chick in it, the movie is garbage, but the chick in it is, um, she's buxom, cute, and she's wearing, like, this striped sweater. I hope the audio is getting recorded. I, I can't repeat this gold. This is... This is uh, okay. 
Do you like this shot of my- this is what I wear in my arm so it doesn't get sunburned. Sorry for my shots of toes and, 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 and the light and my legs. I, legs are okay, but I, I, I feel sorry for you if, I, if you have to see my toes, because I don't like seeing people's feet either, but it's, it's warm. This is, despite its pretty lame cover, a really fun movie. I love this movie. This is this is true SOV goodness. And I think my buddy Michael Beardsley is actually he wasn't in this, but he worked with the director of this. This should have been the cover. Why why are they being so subtle about it? Why is this the cover? But anyway, I love this movie. This is this is cheesy SOV goodness. Um, yeah, Lena Rome, DVD bootleg, I got a few different ones of that. <laughs> Do you like how I'm just holding the thing here? Because I'm not used to doing videos. Oh, the goodies. Yeah. You can die. You can die from laughing, from watching. It's a proven, it's a proven fact. I tried. It didn't work. Okay. Moving along. So, Aretha Franklin just died, who sang my theme song, but it's like a, she was a one-hit wonder. Don't pretend she wasn't a one-hit wonder. She was a one-hit wonder, but it was a one big, one good hit, but it was a one-hit wonder. And then, nobody knows what TCB is. So, oh, that's so stupid. Um, what, what do we have here? These are bootlegs. Oh, this is um, David Lynch hanging out with the star from... His movie, uh, Racerhead, and they go through L.A. I don't know if that's disappointing or not that it was all shot in L.A., but it, it's basically a day with him, and they go back to the sites, and that guy is true. The guy in real life, I don't know his name, is weirder in real life than in, I think he's dead now, than in Eraserhead. In Eraserhead, at least he's a little bit cogent. Oh, uh, yeah. Carp is getting a lot of play in this video. This is one of my top five, top three Ew, some reflection. Gotta watch the reflection. I'm not, I'm not gussied up for, uh, no. Anyway, Carp. This documentary is just great because I actually saw it with a couple people. And, and I, because they told me, oh, don't you like Carp? And I was like, yeah. They said, oh, the documentary's playing. I was like, wow. I'm going to actually go out to a movie theater. And, um... Yeah, but the documentary, it really focuses way, like 90%, way too much on um, the drug addiction and nonsense, which they're not, who cares about that? I don't care about that. That's like every band. Like, they should have talked about the recording, what they were recording, and the, some of the best, to me, the best songs ever made. Yes, I am a Carp fan. Um, and they didn't talk about, like, the recording at all. Almost not, uh, like... The riffage, the the sound quality of those things, like nobody back then sounded. I think what ninety one. The first nobody sounded like that as good as that. Not even grief hadn't even come out yet. Grief came out in ninety three. Going to underground music talk, kids. Sorry. Oh yeah. Wait a minute. Wait. Have I been showing that the whole time? I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. Oh, oh. Okay. Well. Gotta hide that, Bailey J. I'm just gonna shemale young. That is shemale young. Whoa, whoa. Let me see if I can show this. Um, I definitely, I definitely cannot show that. Uh, oh yeah. This is fake. Relax. It's fake, YouTube. It's fake. It's a prosthetic. But, uh, I call it hypergenitals. I just made made up that name. It's probably got another name, but it's basically this chick and she grows this stuff. It's beautiful. I love this film. This is a bootleg of mine. Uh, we got a Bailey J bootleg uh, uh, that I made um, for myself, really, well for the store too. But yeah, love Bailey J. Obviously. Um, well, what do we got here? Back to movie stuff. Um, I don't even know. Okay. Oh, this is like a German. I, this is pointless showing this, but it's a German um, movie with this chick with big boobs and glasses in it, so I have to keep. 
Again, that's from my friend Scott. He made that for me. I mean, I made the cover, but I didn't draw the cover. I mean, I didn't paint the cover. I mean, I didn't like go to like, a stupid ad. Every time there's music on this, okay, I gotta block this thing, hold on. Every time there's music, that's, there's bad music playing on YouTube, and there's this guy who's talking idiotically, you know it's an ad. Does anybody click on these ads? Does anybody care about this? Ad? I mean, I know YouTube has to, I'm glad YouTube thinks people are actually caring about these ads, but remember when they did the yes and no thing? <laughs> If you like the ad, you, it was so, so embarrassing when they took the yes or no. They like, how many people clicked yes? They liked that ad. Okay, back to work. It's more macabre theater. But what's what was her name? What was that chick's name? She's she's pretty kind of active on social media. I forget her name. Great, I'm showing you all these videos with no um. Label. Isn't that a crazy place? <laughs> living space. <laughs> I record. I'm keeping living spaces thing I recorded on TV. Murder. Okay, this is um, this noir that must mean something to me. I wrote that, and the rest. This was a found video, so this is worthy of being a candidate for sale. Um, oh, Star Wars music videos. Um, the sh sh uh, do I even have any VHS left? Okay, yeah, this is one of my favorites out of the ones I found. I, I had another one I think I sold, which may have been my original copy that I had, unfortunately. And I, thankfully, thank God, I found this one. Oh, I, I love the cut box aesthetic. I believe that's part of VHS. Sorry, Danny. I know you like him. You like them uh, virginal, but me, I like, them, I like my BHS boxes slutty. Not that I like my girl slutty. It's all getting very confusing. Let's get back to the Fiend. I love that movie. And yeah, that's one of the most evocative, like, that opening scene in the graveyard. I think it's one of the best. This is the soundtrack, Stark Star. Look at this. I paid for Yes, I did pay for That one guy who sells at the convention, $40. $40. Deadly spawns like a hip hop. Oh, dead. Ooh, look at this. Phantasm 1 and 2. Yeah. I, I didn't do anything, so I had money back then to spend. Now I have money to spend, but I don't. I just buy stuff at the store. Well, since none of this audio is being recorded, I don't know. I don't know. Again, another bad movie. These are new Sub Rosa, but what was doing this art? I like his taste in chicks. That's the only reason I'm keeping these. Oh, am, am I done? I have like three VHS. What a, quite a collection, spec. Uh, let's see. Eh, Wim Wenders. I just like the, the setting. Okay, I'm just like talking, not even showing it anymore. You know, another big wolf. Is this the same one? There's a ton of these female mercenary chicks. It's like the same movie. Tex, I only keep because of Meg Tilly. She's like the most beautiful girl ever to me. Shivers, bootleg, good movie. I don't know if the official is out yet, probably. Push for Excellence, 1985. <laughs> Nobody watching knows what this is. Nobody. You know why? Because it's for black people. Not really. It's NBA. Basically, Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, a ton of people. It's like this weird all-star game thing, you like, and uh, yeah, it's like back-to-back -back dunking. It's just amazing. Nobody has this. I don't think it's on YouTube. Um, and I haven't bootlegged it. Uh, it's uh, Cronenberg Shivers. I don't know if that's out on out yet officially. Yeah. That's. Cronenberg Shivers. Yeah, I don't know if that's odd on it's, Yeah, it's Cronenberg. I got like three of those. Get another one. How many of these do I have? Wait. Oh my gosh, I can't. This is just way too many. Another one. Oh, forget it. Let's move on. Another Master Ninja Four. This is worthy of um, possible candidate for being sold. But I just really want the first one for um, 
nostalgic. I'm not a nostalgic person. If it's not moving me now, then it's get out of my way. No, I'm barely another, another shivers. Are you kidding me? Get a comedy kid sledgehammer. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything about that. Another beauty just I, I really don't know if I should sell this. Probably it's so worth you just watching and see if I want to sell it. It's an awesome cartoon. I just, you know, being I, I'm a salesman, so this is not definitely not. Can't be, yeah, see, Scooby Doo and Sabrina. That was, those were my staples back in the two thousands. Let's record that stuff. Okay, so there's there's the trick that I give it to you every night. Wait, what? I, I meant to give her. Sex. Wait, what? Oh, wait, wait, teasing, 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 teasing. Okay, let's let's be systematic. What should we go that way or that way? Which way should we go? Which way? Which tunnel should we take? Um, let's go this way. Since we said that way. Okay, this is a really awesome cover. I still think I think this is still pretty <clears throat> cheaply available. Mark this, but it won't be in a while. Beautiful, awesome cover. Let's read this, kids. Mark of the Beast. Did you, by the way, does anybody watch the, the, the Plain Truth Christian program when they were coming up? Uh, Mark of the Beast. It's one of the clearest and most dramatic prophecies in the Bible. It states simply that... I've never read this, by the way. In the last days, no man will be able to buy or sell unless he has... This is actually a great movie. This is, no, this is not a joke. This is a great documentary. It's in his right hand or forehead. Um... I would say his or her, but you know, that's because I, 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 you know, that's, years ago such a thing would have been impossible, but now the technology exists. Computer terminals, grocery store scanners, satellites, and microchips, including salsa chips. Wait, I messed up my joke. Did I mess up my joke? Wait. Are now being tested, which could easily make such a system possible. In this incredible video, you will actually see the microchip being implanted under the skin of animals. <laughs> This is like not even like this is like everyday news now. We'll see them doing this like with a smile on on the news at night, identical to the ones in your supermarket. You'll see exactly how the system may work and get an authoritative update on just how close we are to such a thing. This is this is bringing me down, guys. The prophecy of the mark of the beast. Isn't that like the beast master mark? All right, let's move on. Let's spec. Are you really gonna? Wait a minute, I don't know if I should show this. No, but I can show this part of it. She male strokes. She male strokers. She is hot. She looks like somebody I knew. Let's see if I can show the back. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, we can show, let's see. Can I squeeze a tiny bit? Look at her, she's 34B. Is that her apartment? Strokers. Whoops. Oh, man. I got like two of these things. One I, one I bought and one I actually ordered from Mark. This is not the one. This is not the one I had. See, they're actually slightly different. If I find the other one, I can show you. They are, the, the poses are slightly different. It's actually signed by him. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. This is, is this typed? Or photo, yeah, it was originally it was typed in photocopy, you idiot. Idiot. Onward. 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 I, all of my videos are like, look at this, this is some porno. Sad. Sad, really. Unfortunate. You know? It's unfortunate what happens to, to what happened to spec, you know? What happened to spec? What happened? Look at this. This looks like a porno, but it's not. See? You're getting good stuff here. Look at this. This is from it's from the Lord. <laughs> You're gonna die. That's good. Good stuff, Spec. Good stuff. Thank you. Thank you for showing me that. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. Uh, all right. Uh, let's go on this side. This is what you've been waiting for. You horn dogs. Ooh, yeah. 
Look at this. Let's take a second. Watch notes. Oh yeah. Look at this. I sound like such a <laughs> such a greedo. I sound like such a such a gross dude. I'm not going to say anything about that. I think enough has been said about that. Night Ripper, another one. This is equal to um, Fatal Images. I, mean, I think I mixed those two movies up. I really, I don't know which one is which. Night Ripper and Fatal Images. This is another shot on video. This is one of my favorite uh, gore scenes. We should actually have a picture of in the back. This scene. It's really cool. Yeah. Clown fall. How much that's going for? What is this? Oh, no. Ooh, Bailey J photos. Bailey J photos. I love it. This is a good movie. And an awesome cover. I made posters of it. That's how much I love the cover. This lighting is good. Look at this lighting. Oh my goodness. Decide. Look at that chick. She's like President. She's like Trump. In the movie. Okay, onward, onward, onward we move. What is this? What you got here? Ooh, sexy photo. I don't want to show that. What? This is, this is a children's show. Is, is Hyper is bootleg. My movie, Satan VHS. That's my movie, it's available. Kids, it's shot on video. Should I talk about my movie a little bit? Fine, if you really want me to. Okay, so basically, um, I, I, can, I gave up on making it. I really worked hard on making that movie. And even harder than my second. Even though a lot of crazy things happened in the second one. Like, uh, the, because of my experience on the first one. The first one was just like, it was shot on Umatic video. Which is the old video they shot, like, everything on. is these big, like, not VHS. They're like, regular VHS. And... They're, what am I saying? They're not regular VHS. They're big, like, oversized VHS, and you, you can't play them on, like, regular VHS players. But that's what news use. That's what all TV used, like, from the 70s, 80s, and that's it. 70s and 80s. And, and I learned about Umatic working, or whatever, being at the public access station where I used to show to have a show. And I got all the equipment from a guy in a van. There's a ton of equipment. Basically, you carry around a camera. I'm, I joke you not. It weighs, like, a, like two vcrs and that's not even the vcr that's just the camera then you got another thing there's two different there's a portable vcr that you carry around on your shoulder and the thing weighs a ton like like if you're you can't like it, it's literally like carrying around like a like a very heavy v, v, vcr while you're having another a huge camera i i my mom made me get rid of all this stuff i wish i still had it uh, but, <laughs> okay, so anyway, it was I, I gave up on making the movie many times because I just couldn't get the stuff to work. Eventually, I finally... It's not just like you connect like audio, regular like RCA cables or whatever. And I do believe this is pre-YouTube. Was it pre-YouTube? No, it wasn't. But I didn't... YouTube was like 2006. I did this in 2000. Time. It wasn't pre-YouTube. I was too dumb to use YouTube, I guess. I don't know. But I didn't know how to... Is this boring? Am I boring? Am I... We can move on. But anyway, like, I had a custom battery made. I actually made the movie. I love it. In my friend's spot. Oh, I won't show that. Let's see. Oh, this is just like a Bailey Joe special. Look at what I bought. I bought, like, a, I paid, like, a ton of money for this. This is a Bailey J. Barb soap. She may have made this. All right, here we go. Back. I don't... I don't where's all my horror VHS? Look at this. I just love the, um font whoa i think everything is good here but look at that that's beautiful okay the next one i know i can't show all of it let's see what we can do here to accommodate the visitors whoa okay so there this i hope this video doesn't get taken off oops okay back to that it's just a quick shot like that Shouldn't this be an Instagram, like, video thing? I mean, um, photo thing? But then you won't get this acerbic 
commentary. You know, you know what is this? Oh, I cut my fingers on this thing. This stupid card. Oh, look at this. Yeah, look at this porno. Midnight Madness. I love. This is one of my favorite movies of all time. Or it used to be. It's still fun. My idiot friend who's listening to this trying on to watch it with me he just went outside and started smoking. Like he didn't even smoke. He just started smoking after like. I mean, I, he kept saying it wasn't good. And I said, "This is the funniest thing you will ever see, son. You just, you just, you just stop saying that right now." Now we're moving up in the world. We're moving up. <laughs> like I cut the shorts. What a perv. What the, she didn't come with shorts. She like it. She's smiling. She's good with it. Okay. You know what this is. I'm not going to go through these anymore. It's like mystery, mystery movies. Oh, what is this? Man. Minus, monster dog. Monster dog. I don't know what this is, but this is... I might sell this. I'm putting this here. You see, I'm putting them in there. So I'm just going to watch them. Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, I saw this guy on Venture Boulevard. George Hamilton. I think I just kept this because it's a funny, he's a funny guy. He's a genuinely funny guy. And like, there's a funny intro on this. How many of these are? Oh, the LNS girl, finally. Because I kept trying to record the LNS. Remember the LNS girl? She Big buxom chick. I actually friended her on like MySpace. Uh, she doesn't look the same. Oh, this is a sexy movie. This is a sexy one. Devil Hunter Yoko. Yeah, it looks like a regular movie, but it's actually pretty sexy. Or is it? I don't even know. Maybe I'm making that up. These are like plastic things. Silicon Valley. This is a good show. Because Lizzie Kaplan is on. Wait, Lizzie Kaplan isn't even on this. Why do they have this? I don't know. I haven't even opened them because I've seen all the episodes. I just can't wait for the next one. They're not, they're not that funny, but they're fun. Okay. Uh, Kristen Ritter's entry into the world. Didn't Harvey Weinstein give her that job? Loaf. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I think this is the origami. I don't think this is a bootleg. These are funny shorts, like ultra short. Look at this. Even it's, but they're so funny, well done. Kevin S. O'Brien, Night of the Living Dead, and Loaf. They're a parody. Movie, you know, like, like kind of like they look like parrots, so they're kind of parrot. They're parodies. They're parodies. Yeah. You per. Just what are you doing? Oh, this is kind of a good like indie movie. This is a VHS. What? You, this is not a VHS. This looks like a VHS. This is not a VHS. Are you sure? Positive. Okay. This is a DVD. I thought this was a VHS. This is a good indie movie. It's just like, it's weird because it's so like, family oriented. Yeah, of course I only cut this because, two reasons, because I love, I don't love, I like Jim Jarmusch. This movie is kind of garbage, but, and what's her name? Yeah, her. I'm like pointing at my, what's her name? What's her name? She has a good name. She's going to help me out here. This chick, chick, has, she's, she, um, I kept this. This is not VHS, you idiot. Okay, this is VHS, right? This isn't V. This is VHS. This is. This looks like VHS to me. Yeah, this is ultra funny. You can. I'm not bootlegging it because you can still get it from the guy from Michael Lucid and Amanda Barrett. Michael Lucid used to be funny. No offense, he used to be funny though. Wait. Okay. I'm, I'm, psyched. I'm scared somebody's going to come to this house because they want to listen to this, watch this so bad. <sighs> okay, so I might have a part two of this. Holy, holy cow. Yeah, that's a good idea. I didn't even think about that. Okay, so this is like a ton of episodes in here. And if you like, like usually I'm not into this like out there comedy, but this is actually really smart. Is somebody talking? terrified somebody's gonna break into this house because they want to listen to this so bad yeah so this is so michael listed despite bo both of them are funny and, and the, it's very it's just like so weird that, that it's funny it's not that like funny like freeze company funny it's like just weird funny and um he's chubbed out now but back and this girl amanda barrett she looks 
beautiful. I mean, she's a model. And the thing was, Michael Lucid, he has, like, like a couple of girls from, like, SCTV and um, Saturday, one well, more SCTV, there's this chick on there who had this uncanny fate, I wouldn't call it an ability, it's just like a characteristic, where they can look incredibly ugly in one skit and incredibly beautiful in another skit. It's just a weird facial thing with the wigs and they just like they were good with wigs and he held his own with Amanda Barrett Amanda Barrett even this picture is not that great but she is gorgeous I don't know if uh, I don't <laughs> another person I like befriended on Facebook before I went AWOL on Facebook and I just made my own private set you know, private thoughts I love I have all these like sports um groups they always have incredible soundtracks I believe in the future people are going to be bootlegging those soundtracks I'm thinking about doing it now it's one of my favorite movies, Amadeus. This is another great VHS. This isn't. No, this isn't. This has the lid, so it's not VHS. I thought that was VHS. Oh yeah, here we go. Tim Ritter. This is obviously a new reissue. Um, yeah, I love. Um, is this Tim? Ritter? I'm making a fool of myself. Yes, Tim Ritter. You know what I'm talking about. Um, this is like this. It's not a normal size VHS. It's like this thick, thick, thick VHS. Yes, I like it. And inside it comes with the, with the DVD. Yeah, yeah, right. One hundred. I'm saving it. I'm keeping it, baby. I'm keeping it, darling. Tim Ritter is a true, uh, like, true filmmaker, like in the underground sense. Like any success to him is good. Truth is, I, I watch that movie. I like. I watch Tim Ritter's movies on loop. Okay, I can watch them like three or four times in a, in a row. Decoder, which is an underground film with like a dude from Throb and Gristle. This is an underground movie. Um, and despite its like pal thing, it you can watch it. So there. So there. What are you do about that? Some nudie magazines here. People, no, we're not going to go through this one. Pervert. Ooh, pornies. Porn. Jesus, what are you thinking? Look at this beautiful poem. Beautiful. Somebody just like took a picture of me outside my window. Psychos out there. Psychos out there trying to get into my stash. VHS. Okay, let's let's. 2.5 Mission Hydra has this beautiful Italian chicken in it. It's only reason I'm keeping it. Digital Lost. Yeah, I was selling this for 100 bucks and I just I just couldn't. Like every single side has a. This is a different. It's not the same picture. Oh, by the way, this movie is hilarious. All it is is these two uh, dorks sitting, like at this old computer playing this like paint program, and all that happens is like they paint like her hair yellow. And then she turns, like, and then, and then all of a sudden it's a scene, the girl appears. And then it goes back to the scene of the two guys on the computer. And then it's the same thing happening. Like, they, they, they paint the, like, they click something and they paint the hair brunette. And all of a sudden the brunette chick appears. So, look at this. This is a bad place for This The shows I used to watch, I cannot stand now. Look at this beauty. America. That's America. There's another shot. It's not even the same shot. Look at this. Mel, kiss my grits. Okay. So this one, we're going to have to... Um, look at that writing. Looking, no, it's not worth trying. Simpson's feet. She must have something good on here. Oh yeah, she's beautiful. Is that Crystal Breeze? Yes, Crystal Breeze. Vixen's in here. Well, that guy isn't. Is he a vixen? That guy's fixing to be a vixen. This is a point I really like. Not, I don't. It's not the cover, it's just the movie. The movie's actually good. I kid you not. It's like this girl goes into this like bed and breakfast inn. 
just like that. It's really good. This one gets gets the extra light treatment. It's beautiful. This is not even real. This is not an actual um, vintage bootleg. Where is it? Maybe it is. VCR presents. I think this is a this is a fake old movie. I'm Moving on, kids. What, can't show that? That's, wait, I can't show that. I have to do some serious finger maneuvering. Oops. Finger maneuvering here. Is it even worth it to? Yes, it's worth it. Okay, one hour in, so should we end it? Okay, so that's the first part of this video. Should I keep it going? Can I keep it going? Is it possible? Let me check. Okay, so this is the first video. Spec Rex VHS Collection.